Brunus took the edge in Group G over Red Bull Munich by winning 3-2 in Germany last Tuesday. And back in the Gabelrinken Arena, the Swedes needed only one point against Red Bull to win the group. Both of these two teams already through to the knockout stage of this year's Champions Hockey League. And with Brunus on the power play in the first period, puck worked back to the point, flung in front, rebound, falling kindly at the feet of Daniel Paye. Paye lighting the lamp past Kevin Reich between the pipes for Red Bull Munich. Rister from Lucas Kilstrom fell perfectly for Paye. And Brunus, another big step toward the top of Group G, but then Conrad Abeltauser's shot somehow trickling wide past Felix Sandstrom through traffic. And the top scorer's jersey, Abeltauser, couldn't find the back of the net. 1 nothing our score after 20 minutes. Into the second period, Brunus. Attacking from right to left, and the sharp angle shot, squeezing through from Aaron Pelushai. Reich beaten at his near post. Not going to be happy to watch this replay. Just giving enough net open for Pelushai to find. Brunus doubling their lead and seemingly on cruise control in Group G. But watch this play. Somehow the rebound coming free and slotted home by Mads Christensen. Terrible mistake by Sandstrom. Off the long clearance from Ryan Button. Patrick Hager first to it. And then the trailer, Christensen. Easy as you like. Munich now trailing by only one goal. Still going to need to ramp up the pressure in the third period. And that one timer, good right pad saved by Sandstrom. As the chance fell to the number 93, Maximilian Kastner, on the feed from Frank Maurer. But Brunus still keeping their 2-1 lead. But now with the power play and the extra attacker on the ice, Sandstrom getting in the tangle. The puck swept home by Frank Maurer getting the goal this time after nearly setting up Kastner. 2-2 the score, but Red Bull still needed one more goal in regulation if they wanted a top group G, and they kept the extra attacker on the ice. Three seconds left, puck to the corner, and then centered in front. Into the net just before the horn sounded. They checked this on video review. The goal did stand. The clock on your screen a little bit ahead of the clock in the arena. And Jerome Flocka with the tip that wins Group G for Red Bull Munich. Final score, Red Bull 3, Brunus 2. What an amazing end to Group G.